Hey guys, it's Dr. Huntington here. So in this video, we are asking the question, is insulin making you fat? So let's see if we can answer that question in less than two minutes. So insulin is, of course, a hormone that your body produces. Now the primary role of insulin is that it regulates how your body uses and stores glucose and fat. More specifically, insulin controls blood sugar levels within a normal range and it directs the excess sugar where to go, whether it's going to be used you know, for immediate use or for you know, storage for the future. And it also blocks the breakdown of fat. So let's look at our diagram up here. I've got a bunch of those concepts that we just uh, talked about, so I'm going to show you in this figure how it works. So we use our red marker here to show increased blood sugar because that is something we want to avoid, especially for diabetic. So when there's elevated blood sugar, that is causing a release of insulin, so an increase of insulin in the blood. So we've got insulin going up, and then one of insulin's jobs, as we just discussed, is to normalize the blood sugar. So insulin's gonna come here, it's gonna push the blood sugar down. That's its job. So now the blood sugar's coming down, but where's the, where is the sugar going? Well, the sugar, uh, some of that is going into cells for immediate energy. If you need energy, if your cells need energy, that sugar is going to be used for energy. It's pushed into the cells. What happens to the rest of the sugar? You know, above and beyond what you need for uh, you know, your immediate energy needs? Well, that's getting stored in one of two ways. It's either getting stored as something called glycogen, which is basically like uh, glucose, which is the blood sugar, is just glucose kind of clumped together as glycogen. That's a simple way to think of it. Uh, and then that is for sort of medium term use. So short term storage, you could think of it that way. And then there's the long term storage, which is what most of us are trying to avoid, which uh, is the sugar actually getting, you know, pushed into fat. So uh, what many of us are trying to achieve here, of course, is fat breakdown. So let's see how insulin, you know, is, uh, is playing a role in this whole thing. Basically, what's causing your fat? Well, increased insulin, right? Because increased insulin is pushing the sugar out of the blood. Some of it's getting used for energy, but much of it's getting stored either as glycogen or as fat. Now there's one more piece to this puzzle because many of us are trying to go in this direction from fat to fat breakdown. But the other thing that insulin does is it comes in here and it actually blocks that process. So the culprit here, of course, is insulin. And if we want to carry that back, it would be anything that's causing an increase uh, in insulin in the body. All right, so in addition to how insulin works, there's more evidence that points to the fact that insulin causes weight gain. There have been, there've been many research studies which clearly establish an association between elevated insulin levels and obesity. And of course, doctors who prescribe insulin, they know that the more they give a patient, the more weight the patient puts on. So here's how you can use this knowledge to improve your health. Number one, eat a diet that consists of foods that do not significantly raise your insulin levels. And number two, if you are diabetic and you take insulin, ask your doctor to help you understand what you need to do to lessen your dependence on that drug. Because it's pretty clear, the more insulin that you have in your body, the more weight you're gonna put on, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Okay, see you in the next video.